13 days until Christmas, and Baldy has for you a chance of warmer weather and some precipitation too. Let's talk about it in this Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Hey, 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 it is Thursday, the 12th of December, 2024. We aren't that far away from Christmas, and, well, good news is we don't have any major winter storms on the horizon or significant severe weather threats, but we do have warmer weather and some chance for precipitation over the next couple of days, and then as we exit the upcoming weekend and head into early next week. Let's take a look at the high-rise rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Friday. Again, we're going to have plenty of clouds across the state today. Uh, definitely that. Maybe some sprinkles tonight, but um, maybe some light showers starting off Friday morning, eastern half of the state. In all honesty, we're probably going to have fog issues in those areas as well. We may have some dense fog Friday morning and again Saturday morning across the eastern half to the eastern southeastern third of the state. Otherwise you could see yeah maybe some sprinkles tonight to Friday morning Friday afternoon but significant widespread rain and thunderstorms and well we're not going to be dealing with that over the next well, 36 hours. Fire weather forecast from the Texas a and Forest Service. Today, moderate to high fire danger across the state. Tomorrow, uh, mostly low to moderate fire danger across the eastern 75% of Texas. Up in the Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin, into the Big Bend, the Trans-Pecos, Davis-Guadalupe Mounds, and the Borderland. The potential for high to locally very high fire danger. Uh, so we may have some increased initial attack activity tomorrow. And then as we get into Saturday, things are going to be coming on down with low to moderate fire danger across the state. Long Range American Weather Model, the Global Forecast System. Well, here you go. As we go into Saturday morning, you can see this thing really does pick up in terms of precipitation chances across the eastern half of the state. Again, most of this will be along, or I should say near and east of I-35, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, maybe a bit of a break Sunday or Saturday evening. You can see this has some light showers Sunday morning, eastern half of the state, a cool front moving in. Sunday night into Monday will bring the potential for maybe a line of showers and thunderstorms to the southeastern half of the state. Some of those storms may have some gusty winds and small hail. Uh, still some uncertainties up in the air about that, but there will be some more instability to work with with the Sunday evening, Monday morning cold front compared to the last few systems. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for the chance for maybe some stronger thunderstorms. Otherwise, as we go into well, Monday night, Tuesday, things calm down. Another cold front with maybe another chance for showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of Texas as we go into Wednesday and maybe Thursday of next week. So, definitely more active, but no big winter storms. At this point, no big severe weather issues on the horizon. We will keep an eye on Sunday night and Monday, but again, at this point, it doesn't look like a significant widespread severe weather threat. Forecast rain totals over the next several days. This will include tomorrow and Saturday, along with the Sunday night and Monday chance for rain. So that's multiple rounds over multiple days. This isn't going to be a one shop stop sort of situation where we expect this all to happen in a single day. But the potential for one tenth to one quarter inch of rain along and west of I-35, western North Texas, western Texas, Oma, the Hill Country, western central Texas, uh, that goes up to one half to one and a half inches of rain pretty much along I-35 and east from Gainesville, DFW, Waco, Georgetown, Round Rock, Temple Belm, down to Austin, points east through Victoria, into the coastal plain, southeast Texas, including the Brazos Valley, southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, eastern north Texas, eastern central Texas, and then at this point, maybe Eh, one and a half to three inches of rain. Northeast Texas, the northeastern 20% of the state into the Arkla, Texas, and East Texas. And again, that would mostly be from, well, a little bit of it, Friday into, <clears throat> Friday into Saturday. Apparently, I still have the crud. And then a better chance for some locally heavier rains as we go into Sunday night and Monday with cold front number two. So, yeah, I guess 
you know, it's going to rain, but clear indications are here. Western half of the state, not a thing. Uh, Edwards Plateau, Rio Grande Valley, South Texas, not looking good either. Next five days. Let's take a look at the forecast temperatures. Here's today's high temperature forecast. We're looking at 70s back in the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas, the coastal bend into the Edwards Plateau and the Rio Grande Plains. 60s up through southeast Texas, the Brazos Valley, uh, Central Texas, the Hill Country, back up towards North Texas, and a bit out into the Big Bend. Otherwise, 50s to low 60s, northern and northwestern half of the state. Tonight, warmer across a majority of the state. Notice we're going to be back into the upper 50s, low 60s along the Texas Gulf Coast with fog tonight. South Texas, South Central Texas, Coastal Plains, Southeast Texas, and Central Texas in the Hill Country. Warmer tonight, lows back into the 50s with fog. Uh, we're looking at mostly 40s and low 50s, eastern, well, let's just say 70% of the state with increasing moisture with a return of southerly winds and moisture return. Still cold, Panhandle, West Texas, borderland far west Texas, down to the Permian Basin, Trans-Pecos. Temperatures in the low 20s, northwestern Panhandle, up around Dowhart, with mostly 30s in the remaining regions and the far western third of the state. Tomorrow afternoon, warmer across most of the state with 60s and 70s returning. We're going to see upper 50s hold on in the Arklatex with 60s and 70s elsewhere. 80s back in the Rio Grande Valley, Rio Grande Plains. Tomorrow night, lows low to mid 60s from, well, let's just say the southeastern third of the state with more fog and increasing rain chances. That'll take us into Saturday morning. You could see northwestern, eh, what, 35% of Texas, 20s and 30s. East of that in the warm sector, plenty of clouds, fog, and the chance for showers with lows mostly in the 50s and 60s. Friday's high temperature forecast, well, actually, I guess that would have been a good thing. Did I? Sh yeah, okay. So I messed this up a little. Let's do this. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, that made sense somewhere in my head. I must have gotten something mixed up. Here is the high temperature forecast on Saturday. You can see we've got 70s, low 80s, eastern, southeastern half of the state with upper 50s, 60s, low 70s, northwestern third of the state. Let's go ahead and, yeah, I got this messed up a bit. Hold on. I'm making sure we've got all this set. Okay, I see what I did here. And I'm just going to fix this on the fly because I'm super duper baldy in chief. If you want to say that, I don't. And then here's Sunday's high temperature forecast. Mid-80s back in the Rio Grande Plains, Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. A warm day with mid to upper 70s across, well... Edwards Plateau, South Central Texas, the Hill Country, into the Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, 70s all the way back up through the Permian Basin, the Big Bend, into the Big Country, Concho Valley, Northwest Texas, North Texas, Arklatex with 60s, everywhere else, not bad, not bad at all, let's see if we're going to get this in order, nope, hold on a second, this thing really did not update for me today, but I guess that would be... There we go. Monday. Next cool front arriving. Temperatures falling through the day across the northwestern half of the state in all likelihood as cold front arrives with 50s and 60s initially. That could be falling into the 40s and 50s by the afternoon. And then, well, rest of the state, you could see we're going to see 60s, 70s, and 80s. But again, we're going to have a cold front moving through, which means some folks will see highs in the morning to around lunchtime falling in the afternoon as gusty northwest winds and crashy the cold front arrive, along with maybe the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Here is the longer range outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This is simply showing do we have a chance of above average temperatures for late December or below average temperatures or an equal shot. Well, you can see the western half to the western 60% of the continental United States generally looking at warmer conditions. We're still probably going to have a cold front in here around December 20th. And then the eastern half of the United States to the eastern, you know, 40 percent, 
we are expecting equal chances of beginning, but we are probably going to switch to a colder weather pattern around the 21st to 22nd of December leading towards Christmas. It remains to be seen if we're going to get in on that here, at least the eastern half of the state. We may kind of get the nudging blow from that, so we may be a bit cooler for a few days, but that is to be determined. Otherwise, precip outlook, eh, northwestern third of the state below average. Central third of the state, equal chance. Southern parts of the state, slightly higher than average chance. It is what it is. Mama Nature's going to do what Mama Nature's going to do. It just shows, eh, we may be active. We may not. That is going to be your Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Well, guess what? We're to about a dozen calendars now. Y'all have done an amazing job, and we are just about out. And at this point, we're not planning on ordering any more. So, if you want a Texas Storm Chasers 2025 wall calendar, well, you better click on the box that's on the screen right now because they are about going, going, gone. We thank you for all your support with that. That really helps put some money in our photographers' pockets and their chase piggy banks for 2025 so we can put a 2026 calendar together. But hey, if you want a Texas Storm Chasers bumper sticker or sticker, hey, Click on the screen, pop it up here now. They go for $3.99 US plus shipping. And you know what? We've got a couple hundred of those. So if you want some, come on and get them. All right, we'll have your next Texas Weather Roundup early Friday. As always, you can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, no matter where you are in the United States. With the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app, just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. And as always, you can find us here on YouTube at Texas Weather Center. Y'all have a great Thursday. We appreciate you viewing and leaving comments. Have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.